Uh, I think a lot of people are angered by the the kind of the narrative that there's this love affair between Israel and Trump and between Jews and Trump and hopefully we can dispel that by showing tonight that there's a strong Israeli Jewish resistance not exclusively Jewish not exclusively Israeli but that there's a strong resistance to Trump um, there are people here who think that uh, Trump can do good for Israel and there are some people here who think that Trump is bad for Israel uh, but what unites us isn't uh, our views about Trump's positions on Israel, but rather what Trump uh, stands for in general, the hatred that he's inspired in America, the incompetence, the potential corruption, um, and his, his hateful populism. One, two, three, four! We have seen the ship before! Five, six, seven, eight! Stand up against the hate! Love Trump's 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 hate! At the end of the day, you know, I don't know what Trump is making great again, what he's not. One thing is for sure, he's being good to the Jews. You know, he's coming to Israel, he's honoring Netanyahu. I don't know, Obama, you know, slammed Netanyahu in the face, he gave him such attitude. Trump is being so great to the Jews. He's, he's doing so many good things. You know, I don't know what's really going on in his mind, but at least what he says, he's coming across as pro-Israel. All of us, the whole Orthodox world, we're all on Trump's side. Because that's what we need right now in history. Everything's up to God at the end of the day, but in manpower and presidency, this is what we need.